Daryl Granderson has that Sunday feeling. Just look, I had to get out the house real quick. Taking a trip down West Broad Street and enjoying the sunshine after a frigid and frosty Saturday. Yeah, with this uh, weather and this snow, unexpected, you know, this crazy weather. To get from point A to point B, Granderson plans to hop on a GRTC bus. Well, I use public transit uh, typically for the weekend. A cost-efficient way to travel, he says, as prices at the pump continue to soar. You know, the gas prices is ridiculous. I don't know how it's going to continue, but I appreciate, you know, our GRTC uh, having a uh, free ride with the public transit. Right now, it doesn't cost a penny for riders to utilize GRTC thanks to a zero fare policy that runs through 2025. But Granderson wonders if rising gas prices will change that. I, I'm, I'm puzzled at how it has an effect the GRTC. We're not impacted by these changes in the gas and the diesel prices. Julie Trim, CEO of Greater Richmond Transit Company, says, don't worry, you'll still be able to ride the bus for free. That's because a majority of GRTC vehicles use compressed natural gas, not diesel. It's a different form of gas than what you see at the fuel pump. And um, if you look at our buses, you'll see a lot of them have those two blades on the top. That's compressed natural gas. Trim believes ridership will go up as more people turn to public transit to avoid filling up their tanks, and she anticipates increased interest in GRTC's van pool program. It is the best time ever to try transit, save some dollars, save the economy, save the environment. Just like Granderson does. But I'm not made out of money. I got to count my tools and fuels, you know. Make it do what it do, you know. Now, if you'd like to learn more information about carpooling options with GRTC, we'll be sure to put that information on WTVR.com. And if you have any questions about how these things work, Trim says just pick up the phone and give GRTC a call. They will be happy to help. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.